Well, good morning, kids. Welcome to Kids Church. So glad that you guys could be here. Um, hope that all of that you are doing well. You just happened to catch Sunny and I as we're starting to make some cookies. As you can see here in the bowl, we already have our sugar, we have our butter, and our eggs, and we're busy mixing it in. How many of you like cookies? Do you like cookies, Sunny? Yeah. What's your favorite type? Smarty cookies. Oh, favorites are Smarty cookies. Those are good. How about you guys? What is your favorite type of cookie? Now I have a question for you guys this morning. If I were to ask you, how many of you would eat the ingredients of cookies one by one? How many of you would just eat the sugar? Would that taste good? Yeah. Yeah. How about if you just ate the flour by itself? No, it wouldn't taste so good. <laughs> yeah. And then, here we go, we got this egg. Would you like to eat the raw egg by itself? No, it will make you sick. It's never do that in your whole entire life. Yeah, don't, 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 don't eat raw eggs. But the thing about cookies is, it's made of a whole bunch of different ingredients. Now, if you had some of the ingredients by themselves, like Sunny said, they could make you sick, and maybe they wouldn't taste so good, but then other ingredients that go into cookies, they taste really good by themselves. So we're gonna to continue to make some cookies, and as I'm making these cookies, I'm gonna ask Sunny to read our Bible verse for today. Okay, let's read our Bible verse. God causes all things to work together for good to those who love him and are called according to his good purpose. And that's found in the book of Romans 8, ch verses chapter 28. So, as we're making the cookies, God tells us in his word that all things work together for good according to his purpose. Now, that kind of reminds me of making cookies. Each of these ingredients by themselves is, it could be okay, it might taste okay. Some are sweet, some are pretty gross kind of on their own. Some are dull and boring, but when you put everything all together, they make one fantastic cookie. Yeah. So, when you think about it, that's kind of like life. Sometimes there's good moments, sometimes there's those really challenging moments. I mean, I think we all can relate. We're living through COVID, and that's been a really challenging experience for all of us. But despite the challenging experiences, there's still really good things to happen. Maybe we've learned how to ride a bike, Maybe we're still able to see our friends or families through video chats. There's lots of really great and exciting things still going on in our lives. So this morning, I want you to take a moment, maybe with your mom and dad, and see what are some of the good things that are happening right now in your life. So I mean, what are some good things that are happening to you right now? Um, that I can still play with my friends outside, even though I have to wear a mask. Is there anything else? So God is able to make, take the ingredients, some of the different ingredients in our lives and turn them into something good. All together they create something that's super, really good, meaningful and tasty. God can use all those different experiences in our lives. The good experiences, the tough experiences and everything else that happens in between to turn our lives into something good. Now, We've read our verse today, and it says that all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purposes. So think about your stories in the Bible. Who are some people that experience some really tough things? Do you guys know any stories in this Bible where people experience tough situations? Um, the first one that comes to my mind is think about somebody like Joseph. Joseph, his brothers didn't like him very much. Remember, he had that coat of many colors, and he said, hey, one day you're gonna bow down to me and worship me. And his brothers didn't really like that very much. What about Queen Esther? Did everything good happen in her life? Not so good. Remember that God said in, in scripture, it says in the book of Esther, that God called Esther in the hard times for a time such as this. But what that means is that even when we're going through those really tough times or those good times, 
that God ultimately has everything in his hand. God is going to make something really good come out of those situations and work it together for his good. Now, as we're making these cookies, sometimes life gives you those really sweet things. Now, in my hands here, I have chocolate chips. How many of you like chocolate chips? I do. They're nice and sweet, but they're not always good. If you eat too much, you might feel sick. Because you shouldn't have too much sugar. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Today what we're going to do is we're going to have a special treat and we're going to put some chocolate chips in our cookies. And those kind of represent the good things that God gives us in our lives. And that, you know what? When everything is mixed together, the good, the bad, and the in-between, they still make some really great cookies. So, together guys, we're going to just finish mixing these cookies and then Sunny and I are going to put them in the oven. So, what I want you guys to remember today is that God can make really incredible things happen in our lives if we just ask Him and even when we have tough times, He's going to be there walking alongside with us. So, we're going to close in prayer today and maybe, just maybe, if you ask your parents real nice this afternoon after church, they'll make some cookies for you. So, let's just pray. God, we just want to thank you that you can work all things together for good for your purposes. That even when we have tough times, those times that are difficult and uncertain, that you're there with us. So I just pray that you're with each one of us. May we continue to just hold tight to you, knowing that you're going to look after us and care for us. Thank you, Jesus, that you love us and that you make each one of us special. Amen. All right, Sunny. Well, I think we're almost done making these cookies, so I think we're going to put them in the oven right away. Thanks, kids, for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed our time together looking at this Bible verse, and we'll chat soon. Take care now. Bye, Bye. now. Bye. We'll see you next time.